Hey football fans, we've got some juicy news for you today. Underscore The Athletic Underscore has just released a new set of government emails about the takeover of Newcastle United by Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund. These emails shed fresh light on the discussions between government departments and the Premier League leading up to the announcement of the takeover. According to the emails, the Premier League and the PIF had agreed to settle their differences so that the takeover could go ahead. This contradicts previous statements by the UK government and the Premier League, who claimed they had no involvement in the takeover process. In the weeks leading up to the announcement, there were two meetings between foreign office officials and the Premier League. And on the day before the takeover, a Premier League official sent a message on WhatsApp to a foreign office employee, although the content of the message is mostly redacted. The emails also reveal that the foreign office had prepared top lines for expected media scrutiny, including a stock answer about the government allowing a country responsible for the murder of Jamal Khashoggi to take control of one of the Northeast's most important cultural assets. Interestingly, the emails also discuss the Premier League's insistence on separation of control, which led to Yasser al rumayan the governor of PIF, becoming a non-executive chairman of the club. It is suggested that Amanda Staveley would be appointed to run the club. The Premier League declined to comment on the emails, but sources close to the matter insist that the decision to allow the takeover was based on legally binding assurances received by the Premier League and not external influence. So, what do you think about these revelations? Do you believe the government had a role in the Newcastle takeover? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to read the full article and see the images of the emails, we've provided the links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more football news and updates. Thanks for watching.